Back with Ed once again after another game here at York Road against Torquay United this afternoon. Ed, that was a roller coaster. How do you try and pick the bones out of that? Yeah, that's one way to describe it. Um, yeah, look, I think the thing was uh, the thing I will say is we're we're delighted that the girls have shown the the character um, and the mentality to to still be able to rescue a point from the game, um, having gone behind in injury time. Um, so to be able to do that and still show the belief and the, the, the positivity to still look to try and play forward and, and force something with a set piece at the end is, is brilliant, it's great um, and it's something we're, we're absolutely delighted about. We're really pleased with the football that we played for the first half an hour, we're in total control, um, like ball tempo which is something that's been a bit of a problem over the last couple of games was really, really good, recognised opportunities to switch play. Um, Everything looked crisper and sharper than it had done uh, maybe in the last week, 10 days. So that was all really, really pleasing. Like I said on Thursday, moments, <laughs> results are determined by moments. Um, and we've we've allowed them a soft moment. Again, not picking up a second ball appropriately. Um, that's got them back into the game with in injury time at the end of the first half. And that obviously changes the dynamic. It means they come out in the second half with with something to chase and a bit of belief, like they've forced a moment. You know, we know, having been in similar positions last year, you start to get that feeling of, oh, we can force another one here. So they changed the strategy, they were a lot more aggressive in the press. Um, it took us 15 minutes to, to deal with that, but I felt we got on top of that. Started to play over the press and us being a little bit more direct in the second half helped us get a little bit of control and territory back. Um, but again, individual moments from, from set pieces. Of cost us in this one. How would you sum up the start of the season overall? Then they played four games now. Yeah, it's been. Um, I think. I think there's a couple of parts to that answer. I think um, contextually, if we compared it with the start of last season, um, it's taken until November to get a goal, let alone a point. Whereas this season, we've managed to get seven points in the first four games. Um, and we've scored, what, eight, 12 goals in the first four games as well, which is a really good return for us. Um, it's an area we struggled with last season in front of goal. So the fact that we've, we've had that sort of start is, is really, really positive and it shows the improvement that we've, that we've made over the past 12 months. We're disappointed because we feel like, um, performance-wise, Thursday was there for the taking. Um, and we felt like we should have got something from Thursday night and again being 2-0 up today we feel like we should have taken something from the game but again that's a, I think that's a testament to, to how far we've come as a team where we're actually disappointed we haven't won all of our first four opening games um, what I will say is this group continues to impress and continues to, to show its willingness to, to, to engage and to develop um, and there's even though we've had a good start, points-wise, like there's still some extra gears to come from this group. So we're looking forward to what's going to be a really difficult period coming up against Bournemouth, Exeter and Bridgewater. Probably the three who, before the season started, you'd have fancied to be the top three. Um, so we're looking forward to testing ourselves against them and, and seeing how we've developed on that front. Yeah, bring it on. Let's look forward to it. Thanks, Ed. See you next week.